Hello, everybody. Very good evening. Hi, hi, guys. So it's six p.m. now, and six p.m. as promised, we are live again with our webinar on how to get a twenty lakh per annum salary without having no tech background in this IT industry. Right? This is something which is catchy enough to understand that why it is possible and how it is possible and how we can make it possible. So we're going to discuss a lot more things in this particular webinar, and I hope that everybody is excited. And I uh, heartily thanks to all of you who have figured out their time and they are giving time to us. So I will make sure that you're going to have this webinar, uh, amazing webinar, uh, most valuable webinar. So I would request all of you to turn off all your notifications and stay focused because we we are going to have an amazing guest as speaker as well who have also worked in Amazon and now working in another giant company. So we're going to discuss a lot more things in detail from a scratch to an advanced level, and I am sure that you must be having a lot more question how you can become one. So, guys, before I finally start, I just want to check with you all that if you guys can just see me or hear me well properly, just uh, you know, give me a thumbs up in the chat section that yes, Amir, I can hear you. My name is Amir, by the way. So, guys, just comment down in the chat section and tell me that yes, you can see me and hear me well, and then I'll just take a heads up. And I'll just start this particular webinar. All right. So I'm just waiting for the people to comment down. So guys, please uh, do comment. So Hamza is saying yes. Anuj is saying yes. Good evening. Yes. Ganesh. Yes. I can hear perfect. All right. So let's get started, guys. I'm super excited about this. So let's see what exactly we're going to do in this particular webinar. What exactly we're going to learn. What exactly we will get. Yes. By the way. Uh, I hope you have seen my video messages as well, right? So I have an amazing surprise also for you. You're going to win something for free, which is very, very much premium. All right. So I'll come to the point till the time. Uh, stay tuned and we will be discussing at the end of this particular webinar for sure. So before guys, I start, I just wanted to interact with all of you. Just wanted to know that what exactly your age is so that I can have the age demographics idea that what sort of age group are there in this particular webinar that will be helpful for me to derive the webinar accordingly. And also, please do tell me guys that from which city you are from so that I can have an, uh, you know, geographical idea that from which place the students are uh, here and from, uh, you know, which uh, corner of the country are there so that accordingly we can plan. So I can see the people are from 18 to 30 age group, Patna, Gurgaon, Noida, Hyderabad, Kolkata, Pune, and a lot more. So all over the India people are here. I'm super, super excited. And I can observe a good bunch of people who is in between 18 to 26. And a few of them are above that. So that's great. Thank you guys for interacting. And thank you guys for responding. I'm, I'm very, very much excited about this. All right, guys. So let's move on. And uh, let me tell you about myself, guys. Uh, if you're looking at this beautiful person. <laughs> so my name is Amir Akhtar. I'm a career consultant. I have helped more than 200 plus people in getting a job in IT industry. So after five years of experience in this tech industry, so I can tell you exactly what exactly it is required to uh, become IT specialist, how you can get a job in IT industry, how you can become a data analyst, software developer, how you can become a, you know, mobile developer, XYZ, lot more things. So there are total in total six high demand professional professions are there. And I'm going to share all of you that how you can become one. Because in my entire journey, I have dealt with more than 200 plus people. I have helped them to get a job. So uh, and, and the best part is all of them from a non IT background. Right. So I can pretty much relate with them with what sort of challenges they have in their mind and what sort of myths and pre assumptions are there in their mind. So I have got this uh, idea that what sort of a, you know, a problem we face okay so you will get this thing i'll relate with you all so take your questions keep your questions ready okay invite your friends because i'll pick up your question i'll be discussing with the guest speaker as well all right meanwhile to all the beautiful people whoever wants to interact with me personally and talk to me so here's my linkedin link in the chat section you can send me requests dm me or you know you can have any question you can ask me i will love to talk all of you all right Perfect enough. I hope you can see my LinkedIn profile. Perfect. So I'm just moving on. I hope you have got an idea that what exactly I do in my life. Okay. So why we are doing this particular masterclass. So we are conducting this masterclass in support of our course, which is IT profession from scratch to employment. What exactly this course deal basically. So uh, we have seen one problem in the industries that 
some of them are a good data scientist some of them are a good uh, software developer some of them are a good front end developer back end developer mobile developer qa automation engineer so lot of professions are there and people are earning more and one thing is very clear in the market that it profession is one of the highest paying profession but the major problem is we don't know that which profession is good for us now the problem which i have observing is because see i have worked in this edtech industry for more than 5 years so i have observed one thing that if somebody is a data scientist then they will observe that okay my friend is a data scientist so they will start uh, buying some expensive course and they will start pursuing it but after one month or two months they will realize that okay this is not my cup of tea and they will just waste their money so bhai uh, arshad is saying sab paise ka khel hai har jagah paise ka khel hai for sure <laughs> bilkul so guys um, so what i want to tell you that what problem we are solving basically in this particular program so the problem is like first of all people are less aware about that you know what exactly the profession are hyping and the second problem people are facing is they don't know that which profession is best fit for them all right so what we are doing in this particular profession so what we are doing in this particular course is that we give first six week okay and in this first six week you going to try all six high paying profession okay just don't think what exactly your sharma uncle is saying what exactly your friend is saying what exactly your xyz uh, people are saying just don't listen to their opinion just try all six high paying profession in six week probably during this six week you will like some profession you will dislike some profession you will at least understand that this is working for me and this is not working for me right this is a practical approach right just to give you one example i am a mechanical engineer so ab mechanical engineering karni hai ya nahi karni hai uske liye mechanical engineering karna padta hai so i can tell you why to do engineering and why not to do engineering right similarly so in all six uh, week you going to try all these six profession once you will try you'll get an idea which one is working for me which is not working for me then we will assign you a career counselor and then think and then decide that okay this is something which i like now continue this for another 8 month and get a job as simple as that we are saving time and money for that so this is the whole concept of this particular course we will discuss about this more on this at the end of this particular webinar but for sure be ready with your questions because i am sure in this particular webinar we are going to solve all the major problems and the issues and the myths that we have generally when it comes to switching career from a non it to high paying it all right so yes of course there is a uh, programs are going on the co the cost of this programs is 11490 but currently whoever is watching this webinar they can avail 35% discount and get this course for 7390 rupees per month now the question comes is nobody has to pay why the link is there in the chat section go register and get a free counseling call ask them how is this possible i don't know the c of the coding how you guys are making uh, you know promises that you can guarantee a job if i don't know the c of coding how is it possible eat their head ask too many questions check your eligibility see what is the potential understand the approach understand the policy understand the clause everything ask then decide okay all right so all the people who is watching me you are getting this benefit so you can have this free counseling call the link is in the chat section go register take this thing up all right now let's talk about the coding invaders so who we are basically so we are an edtech platform we are on the mission to help all the at least 1 million people to get an it job irrespective of their what background they have so if i'll talk about the exact statistic so we have the learners from all over like 40 plus countries and already 22000 plus students and the best part is we have 93% of employment rate it is not something which i'm just creating in hype it is very much obvious because the demand is so much but supply is less why because the skilled candidate are way less people have a lot of free assumptions and the myths in their mind that's why they are backing off so here in according invaders we are continuously this you know continuously doing this particular webinar so that we can clear the myths we can make them understand why it is possible if you will do it how you will you know how you can get this thing done so you will get xyz things done so once you are here you are watching me so i will make sure i'll take this uh, responsibility okay shivam is saying that this is a recorded session no man it is not a recorded session <laughs> okay so i'll take this responsibility that you guys uh, uh you know i can solve all your problems and you can take better decisions in your life after this particular webinar so yes if i'll talk about the salary hike people are on an average getting the salary hike uh, of 30% to 400% for sure but yes i'll not just say in uh, lines on the flow but to be very honest resources we provide how exactly you perform an interview that matters okay so that's your potential by the way and yes the best part is we have a huge networks uh, with the people in the mncs that's why the interview schedule rate is very much high in the coding industry because we have already 
trained 100 uh, plus companies employees so we have a very good networks so our alumni's are working on a good network so we have that particular strategies and the systems in made in such a way that it is a very hassle free process after completing the course and getting the interview calls in time all right <clears throat> so um so guys whoever is asking me i understand that you guys are curious so keep the questions with you i'll just because in this particular uh, master class i will have a q and a session with all of you in just after 30 minutes don't worry okay keep your questions ready all right so i'll ask all your questions i'll answer all your questions with the guest speaker itself okay so now let's come to the point uh, that what will you learn today okay so you will learn that why we should need to enter into id the biggest question why why it is important okay and you will also understand the future of it market in india and the world okay that is not only in india a broad idea you will also get and also you will understand what are the six most in demand profession in it ye hai kon kon so you will get an idea of that also okay so we'll have a pretty much idea about what exactly it is now now let's move that what you will get in this particular webinar <clears throat> okay kiran khatri is saying can a buyer student also do it of course you can if my ad is reaching out to you then it means you can do it <laughs> okay so also uh, you will get what you will get so you will get a chance to ask question to the speaker directly i'll take your questions and i'll ask on your behalf and all of you will get a certificate of participation first of all so you guys are figuring out time and giving it to me so for sure you will be getting that particular uh, benefits certificate of participation and also to all the people you will be also getting a special offer for our it profession from scratch to employment course all right so you'll get a special offer special discount so you will get all these benefits for sure because if you are giving time we value for it now the most important thing the surprise is the exact thing which i was talking about so right now in front of you this amir akhtar from coding invaders is going to start a contest right away and this contest is actually to all the people who are eager to learn so we are giving away one course that too for free that is a premium course it profession from scratch to employment the link is in the chat section the contest will just end after 30 minutes what does it mean it means that after 30 minutes i will be sharing my screen to all the people who have filled this particular form which is there in the chat section go hit it up go once you will fill it so i'll share my screen and i'll choose one random person and right now in front of you i will enroll him into the job guarantee batch yes so it is a job guarantee batch so one of you who is watching me right now having a lot of questions and curiosity in the mind so if you are watching me so you can get this chance to win this course that you for free right after 30 minutes so i have started this contest so make sure that you are filling up the form and do comment in the chat section that amir is done i'm ready now let's start the webinar with the guest speaker so once you are done with this registration and participation in the co uh, contest just let me know i'll just proceed further all right So guys the contest has started and I'll announce the winner just after 30 minutes after Q&A session you can say okay so I'll just check people are participating or not so guys just comment down if you are already started participating so I can see the numbers are increasing hurry up guys hurry up hurry up hurry up I'm going to call the guest speaker now so hurry up guys just comment down in the chat section that yes you are ready you are done so I will just take it forward all right so i can still see the registrations are coming in so guys i hope you are able to see the link i hope you are not facing any problem so yes so mohammad wasim ansari and uh, vishakha and shiv sai krishna <clears throat> i have already i have already do it done indra sen vamshi harshit kapoor registered her great 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 guys I'll give just ten, twenty more second, guys, and then I'll just start this particular webinar. All right. So I just don't want that anybody should miss because you know I just give you one uh, interesting part. I was doing one last webinar, and there was there was one participant who registered and the last moment. And luckily, when I choose the random person, because I use website to choose the random person out of the whole total list, and there that uh, algorithm selected the last one. So that's what I am saying. That if you guys are giving your time to me. if you are watching it takes a little effort to go participate maybe you can be the winner maybe you can get a call sir you are enrolled for the job guarantee batch all you need to do is you have to give an effort of at least 1.5 hours on a daily basis rather than scrolling in instagram you can give time for your career and make 2023 one of the best career move for your life all right so yes let me check people are participating or not 
So I can see the numbers are still increasing. So yes, the last person who is re who registered is Mizbah Behlim. Still, the numbers are coming. Hurry up, guys! Hurry up! I don't want to waste any more time. So uh, meanwhile, I just want to share uh, one of the great experience I had uh, in the courses because one thing I'll just tell you. See, uh, I am basically in this coding invaders. Definitely, I bought this guest. We will be talking about a lot of uh, issues and the things, but somehow I'm also promoting other courses. To be very honest, right now, one thing I've observed is uh, that uh, you know people are very motivated at the end, uh, you know, in the beginning. That yes, I want to do it. Up to me, karunga, and and then I'll get a job. But the problem is, people, you know, get um, you know lose this consistency after one or two months. That's the major problem. So I would request you all that we very serious if you are. They're very sure. Then only think about it because it takes at least eight to nine months to prepare and then get that twenty lakh packages. Because twenty lakh package is not very easy. Trust me, guys. I know some of you must be appearing into different different um, you know placement drives and everything. So you must be observing the toughness. How exactly it is easy or tough. So nothing is easy in this world. So I would request you all because I have seen one thing. in that you know the average people are winning the game because of consistency but intelligent people are not winning the game because they are not consistent enough so the game behind this winning this 20 lakh packages is the game of consistency trust me guys if you are the consistent person if you are not then make yourself you will definitely going to get that thing done for sure all right so uh Guys, whoever is saying that you cannot, uh, you are not able to open this link. I'll just refresh once again, and now I'll just start my countdown, and then I'll uh, definitely going to introduce our guest speaker for sure. So I'll start the countdown. So ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, so I'll give you guys another chance to register over here, but let's start without wasting any time. Let's start, and please welcome our guest speaker, Mr. Navneet Singh. So, Navneet, if you are here, hello, Navneet. Yeah, am I audible and visible? Uh, we can hear you, but we cannot see you. Can you please turn off and turn on again? Okay. So, okay. Let's start. so you can take your time. No worries in that. So, Is guys, it, can you just comment down in the chat section if you can see our guest speaker? Because I cannot see, but there might be chances that you guys can see. So, if you are not, just help our guest speaker understanding that yes, you can see. Can you try once again, Navneet? Because I cannot see. Okay, let me let me do it. I actually read it once. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, now we can see. Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So, I'm hold, giving the mic to you. Uh, we would want uh, the whole introduction from your side itself. So, we are very excited. Please carry on. Yes, uh, thanks, thanks, Amir, for having me here. And yeah, I mean, <laughs> talking about myself, so I also did uh, computer science in. Uh, I mean, obviously, I did B Tech in computer science, mm -hmm. and after that, I have worked in multiple companies till now. I have worked mm -hmm. at. Uh, I mean, you can say a startup as well. I have worked in the you know MNC uh, as well. So pretty much, it's more of I have experienced in different level and different level of companies as well. so it's uh, like i mean i have worked at amazon then i have worked with uh, one of the fintech startup which is bright money and then currently i'm working at uh, games 247 which is uh, some of you might be aware about my 11 circle which is one of their product uh, related to you know uh, creating your own team in gaming uh, uh, games tournaments basically so th that is uh, one of the product of our company in which i'm working in and so yeah i mean uh, that's pretty much uh, about me in terms of my work experience and yeah i mean <laughs> over to you i mean that's, that's great that's great thank you so much thank you so much for telling this so um just one thing we just wanted to understand from you because i have been following you on linkedin and i have been observing your whole journey you are very quick and switching and you are growing growing so we also get uh, inspired with what sort of an activity you do and we also try to learn that how exactly strategies you are putting in in your life and you are growing now the most important thing questions come in our mind is to be very honest we are discussing about this it industry and everything so do you really think that uh, it is uh, like good time to enter into it or uh, or it is something which is a over discussed topic i think um 
yeah i mean exactly i would agree in the over discussed topic part i mean maybe there is a possibility of people getting confused or having doubts but uh, i think uh, the time for getting into it is obviously the right time right now and also i mean if let's say you are preparing really well so down the line if you get started with your preparation today itself so it will be more of 7 to 8 months right i mean down the line and i mean people might be also confused about recession and all that stuff going on in the industry but uh, that uh, is affecting people i agree on that part but in terms of uh, getting uh, the right set of talented people in the companies for companies are still hiring for them so i mean i recently made a switch in november itself so i mean if you are a really good candidate i mean i'm not talking about myself but in general i'm telling that if you are a really good candidate and uh, then there are a lot of companies looking for uh, really you know uh, good candidates in terms of different technologies so technology is not a barrier but that's just basically the skill set so if you are having a right set of skill set you can easily get into it so uh, navneet like uh, could you just recall and tell us uh, like total how many companies you have already worked by the way so uh the numbers including are... all your contract all your small contracts as well uh-huh, correct so i mean uh if i talk about my full time experiences right i mean including my internship full time experience so mm-hmm. i i worked uh in two companies i have interned and then later on i worked into three companies so total five total five and total how many years of experience you have same <laughs> yeah. okay <laughs> it's basically six six months of internship i did and then later on i worked okay so now you are a full fledged full time employee now you are happy yeah. with all those things okay right. now the, uh, just because you did engineering i just have one important question to ask because i'm sure that people must be hearing when that uh, this guest is also an engineer so it is possible so just wanted to ask you one thing you are at the very senior position in your company you have also worked in amazon as well right so uh, is there any example you have that people or who is mechanical engineer or maybe not a engineer uh, learning some skill set and uh, becoming a software developer or anything so do you have any uh, real life example or any would like to share yes i mean uh, in not in my current company but in the previous company uh, i interviewed one of the candidate who was just uh, 12th pass out he didn't even had any degree and apart from that uh, i have met few of the other folks who were not from the it background and they then other person got into qa he was i think um, he did not he definitely did not do computer science and then apart from that uh, yeah i mean there are few of the other examples across the world i was recently i mean uh, reading the news uh, there was a candidate who was uh, uber driver actually and he okay. went to uber as a software developer engineer so he got in as a software developer over there so I mean, there are a lot of examples. I mean, there, I explained obviously about few of the examples, but there could be a m- lot of other examples as well. All right, all right. So one thing is very clear that if we have a correct skill set, we can definitely get hired. Definitely. Right? Now, uh, just wanted to know that uh, in which year you got your first job, by the way? Twenty eighteen. Twenty eighteen. Okay. Twenty eighteen. All right. So uh, at that time, and looking at the current time. so do you think that uh, uh, at that time i'm sure there must be some difficulties but right now uh, what would you suggest is it easy now or is it a, still a very tough thing so i think um right now it i mean see in terms of the difficulty of getting a job it won't really you know change but in terms of getting the opportunity mm-hmm. i would say it is mm-hmm. getting it, it got a bit easier because there are now a lot of platforms where you can you know get the job from and also there has uh, been you know a uh, lot of interaction going on in linkedin people are more active on linkedin earlier i mean people were not so much active on those platforms mm-hmm. but also the startups which are right now were not there th- during that time so i would okay. say that um, obviously there have been a lot of uh, platforms created for creating the you know right set of opportunities and also you know giving the companies the great right set of candidates as well 
So one question I just have like, uh, do you generally face any sort of problem that you are looking for a skilled people, but you are not getting a skilled people? Do you, do, does that a normal technical people face this challenge in their whole journey that they rarely find a skilled people, but they are in very much need? Right. So I mean, um, I mean, obviously I interview a lot of candidates. So there has been one of the experiences where um, we were interviewing for intern position. Okay. And okay. just imagine the competition level that the candidates who applied and who got shortlisted till the interview, we were able to, you know, shortlist uh, four, five candidates out of the entire, you know, bunch of uh, applications mm-hmm. and interviews. So in that five also, we had to only choose two. So okay. that was, uh, you know, a difficult uh, uh, task for us in terms of choosing which candidate will fit uh, the most in this. So there were... Uh, Sometimes what happens is you get good candidates mm-hmm. and then you are you, you are bound to uh, choose only one among them, right? Mm-hmm. So those kind of situations also happen and also the other way around happens where mm-hmm. you don't find any of the candidates interesting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I so got both it. ways it, it, it goes. I mean, there are a lot of good candidates, um, you know, in the, in the industry and also, there are candidates who might be good, but they might not be fitting in the particular, you know, role which I might be interviewing for. Understood. Understood. So one thing is very clear that we are targeting the skills, right. uh, irrespective of what background it is. All right. So we talked about so much good things about it. So we just wanted to understand a bit more idea that uh, mm-hmm. because in 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 pandemic, I've observed that. Uh, uh, the sales people, the field job people, and the, all the non-IT people were getting fired, and they were just rushing for here and their interviews. A lot more struggle they were facing, but right. IT people were just sitting in the laptops and they're just enjoying. And uh, so, just wanted to know what exactly the pros and the cons in this IT domain. Like, if I'll get an IT job, maybe as a data analyst or software developer, what right. is the cool thing and what is the worst thing as an IT specialist? You got it. So, uh, cool thing is that, um, as you mentioned, I mean, we can work from anywhere, mm-hmm. most, mostly, right? Mm-hmm. These days, companies have started asking us also to come at least twice a week, but uh, not everyone is asking. So, I mean, one thing is that uh, work from home opportunities there, you can work from anywhere. You can mm-hmm. go on a trip and then keep working from there. Mm-hmm. And you can enjoy if you are a traveling person, right? So, you can do that. And then, mm-hmm. apart from that, I think uh, one thing is that um you if you are a technology you know a person who who, who likes technology so you you get a lot of opportunities in terms of experimenting mm-hmm. and doing uh, great things and you can achieve those and another is uh, i think i personally feel that uh, if you are a right set if you have a right set of ca- uh, skill set you know so mm-hmm. you have a very you know exponential you can have a ex- exponential growth in, in mm-hmm. the industry so it's not like you are, uh, there is a limitation that, okay, if you are at this level, you will be only getting 30, 35% or 40% high. So it's not a barrier. So you might get uh, beyond that as well. So, okay. yeah. So someone is asking how much is your package right now? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm definitely earning uh, more than uh, the current package that is mentioned in this. But uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm an experienced person. So <laughs> that hint is sufficient. That hint yeah. is sufficient. And one thing, just because you just gave a hint about your package. So you achieved it in five years, right? Now, uh, can you confidently say that nowadays, if we are well pre- well prepared, can we achieve the exact number that you're sitting at right now, which is more than actually mentioned in three years? I think, yes, uh, comparatively, yes, definitely. I mean, a lot of companies are paying. Uh, see, I mean, my current same experience, I mean, I have my friends as well, right? They might not be earning, they might be earning, right? I mean, there are both ways. Mm-hmm. Some companies are ready to pay. If you are right, if you are having a right set of skill set, you might get into those companies and you might start earning that much amount of mm-hmm. money. And if you don't have, let's say, or it's not about actually the right set of skill set, but it's like the demand. I mean, they, their needs are more mm-hmm. in those cases, right? So you might still be working at the lower package as well. Mm-hmm. So that varies. But in general, if you are having, you know, if you have prepared well, so mm-hmm. this package, which I am, uh, I think, you might be able to achieve it in three years somewhere. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. See, I, I know uh, people who are working in, you know, a much better companies, they, uh, they are also not earning uh, that much amount of money. So it, it varies. It's mm-hmm. not about the company brand. It's about which company pays good amount of money. 
mm-hmm. right so it also varies on that and also the experience so that's how it is understood 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 now uh, one thing just wanted to know you we talked about the good thing about this it industry now uh, what you hate being a it specialist work pressure work pressure <laughs> balance sometimes it might mess up mm. so uh, i mean from last couple of days i mean when you mm. asked about the you know this webinar also i was aware about it so i was mm. like more of you know i had to actually wrap up the work before mm-hmm. the webinar so i have been continuously working throughout this day mm-hmm. itself so mm-hmm. i didn't get much of a break today i mean so this week has been a bit of more of a you know very tight scheduled but mm-hmm. it's not always it doesn't mm-hmm. happen like this but uh, let's say if there is you know some timeline or deadline which you need to meet that's where you need to push yourself and sometimes in those uh, cases uh, sometimes your work life balance messes up but it's not always i would not say it as a cons but mm-hmm. it will actually help you grow okay, okay. so it's indirectly a uh, positive side itself sometimes you need to push yourself to meet the tight uh, tight deadlines and then in those uh, situations you actually grow yourself right you know you get to know how you need to work on those you know situations you plan well in the next time so that you don't come in the same situation the next time right so those kind of learnings you always get all right i'll just take one uh, question from gauri right now because i think it's an important one but before i there is too many roasting going on in the chat section <laughs> okay there was one guy who was saying that english to bol nahi pa rahe hain dono dhang se <laughs> okay <laughs> and isne khud uh, hindi mein likha hai okay <laughs> and uh, uh, the gauri is saying that they are not english teacher plus for job you don't need to be william shakespeare or shakespeare all you need to do is a uh, old basic concept thank you for this so gauri is asking another question that was your syllabus in btech was really helpful in real life <laughs> did it held or the syllabus in the real life or do you feel that syllabus was outdated i think uh, i mean this more of uh, you know this thing is more towards the education system which we have in in our, in our country mm-hmm. right i mean we have uh, that kind of an education system where we learn a lot of things we are i mean spe- specifically in engineering mm-hmm. we are put into a lot of pressure and that actually mm-hmm. helps you in the long run in your job so which i was mm-hmm. talking about work pressure so you are actually already gone through the entire four years that you mm-hmm. now realize okay that is fine we are still we have done a lot of other things in the you know <laughs> uh, in our graduation time so i think that is obviously there but uh, apart from that very few topics or few you know fundamental subjects actually are helpful but mm-hmm. apart from that obviously they are part of your uh, graduation but i would suggest mm-hmm. one thing uh, we we can't judge it because mm-hmm. the reason is i might be working on a specific technology i might be working in a specific domain right so what happens is if i am working in that domain i might feel few of the subjects relevant some might be someone else might be working in cyber security so he might fi- find a networking more helpful right mm-hmm. uh, similarly some someone might be working in the data analyst or something right they might find databases more like, helpful mm-hmm. right so it varies mm-hmm. but ultimately few of the major subjects mm-hmm. there are four five subjects which are important for any engineer in computer mm-hmm. so that that is how it is helpful but other subjects are like not so much helpful i would say <laughs> exactly so a one liner i would just say which is coming in my mind is if our btech syllabus could be so much updated then we companies like coding in medical could have never existed so it's very obvious if we are existing then there is a need definitely there all right yeah, all right i agree Perfect, perfect. So, guys, I just want to give you a clear idea about why exactly this market is booming. So, if you look at the statistics, so we have a billion dollars of uh, this, you know, the growth we are observing in the US, and you know, out of that, you know, the whole hundred uh, billion uh, dollars which I have showed the figure, if you will see, the ten percent is Indian IT, which is contributing in GDP by twenty twenty five. So, which shows a very clear idea that the future is going to be crazy. if you are skilled enough if you will make yourself ready for sure you can on the hell out of it and there was one guy who was asking that can you buy ferrari or lamborghini in an it industry i'm like that was a stupid question even all the richest people like sundar pichai and all the ceos that people are i don't know they should google it at least these are the it professionals right navneet so for sure um if you're 
if your uncle is not vidhayak then definitely you should be an it professional okay now let's understand that how this it profession works so we just want a better understanding if you could help us understand that how exactly this it profession or who works step by step uh, when our it company found uh, you know comes in the picture how exactly things work and where where this particular profession is required yeah okay so i think um, there are obviously different phases whenever we are working on a product right mm-hmm. so there are companies like product based companies service based companies but i mean specifically talking about a product or a project what happens mm-hmm. is you need to understand what is the basic requirement okay mm-hmm. so first thing is that we need to understand okay these are the features we need to develop mm-hmm. why do we need those features so before those features actually you need to understand the mm-hmm. the basic business uh, need behind it okay let's say i want to increase the revenue of a company so mm-hmm. i need to build some uh, features in inside a product mm-hmm. right so that's where you know you start actually understanding okay these are the features which are required mm-hmm. and then comes the role of you know product manager and all who need to refine those requirements mm-hmm. right they need to plan okay these are the features i need to build and this is how we'll be implementing it right mm-hmm. so that's uh, the first of it part over there and then comes the designing part the okay let's okay. say if i am working as a engineer so i need to understand how will the product look like mm-hmm. right and how need, I, then only i'll be able to think okay how i what i need to do to actually mm-hmm. reach to that particular case and then once let's say that a whole design is finalized that's where actually designers come into picture the design mm-hmm. part, who, will, who will help product manager Mm-hmm. to bring those uh, you know thought process whatever the product manager is thinking into reality mm-hmm. his designer mm-hmm. then designer will help us as a you know we as a coder right mm-hmm. develop they will help us with the designs okay these are the designs you need to develop now that's okay. where coding comes into picture so the front end back end everything comes into that only that whole part and okay. then comes you know verification of those uh, cases where where we are you know actually saying that okay i have developed it i have tested mm-hmm. from my side but actual verification will be done by the testers mm-hmm. which is a way also you can say mm-hmm. quality assurance you can say okay so that's where testing happens and then it is actually you know once qa says okay this is well tested i have verified all the test cases then it goes into production which is going live okay. in, in technical terms we call it as production Mm-hmm. Uh, but in general uh, layman terms you can say that whenever we make a website live or a product live let's say application mm-hmm. available to the end users and users mm-hmm. who is the public mm-hmm. right public is our end user right so mm-hmm. whenever we make it available for them that is where we are saying that we have made it live and mm-hmm. then we need to keep on working on the maintenance so maintenance for example if you are doing a upi payment mm-hmm. and you got stuck your payment is in processing your amount got deducted but you are still struggling okay why is it not back in my account so that's where you reach out to customer support team then customer support is another uh, you know phase i mean not in this but mm-hmm. that is also part of the product only so that's where they will reach out again to us that okay there is an issue raised by the mm-hmm. user mm-hmm. as a engineer i need to work on those use, uh, issues and fix it and make it live again mm-hmm. so that is maintenance and where i make sure that things are working fine for mm-hmm. the end till after making it live that mm-hmm. is maintain and then again the data analyst come into picture where they actually try to read and understand the whole uh, data whatever how the product is performing how is the user doing and all that mm-hmm. stuff comes into picture and then actually you know the whole cycle completes understood understood so i have made this particular collection so total these uh, many professions will uh, be involved in this whole process of setting up this it company so data analyst is involved it project manager is involved qa engineer is involved mobile developer is involved front end developer back end so i have placed it somewhere so does that work like uh, that i'll just shift my image to the top side so that people can see the chart so sure. yes i'm also actually not able to see it <laughs> yeah just a second uh is i think mostly i can understand wherever it is placed i think only project management is not visible but i think hopefully project uh, it project manager is placed over there but in general i think i see um, this is how exactly things work i mean coding mm-hmm. is about front end back end mobile mm-hmm. right and mm-hmm. then qa engineers i already mentioned in while like, while i was talking about these so product mm-hmm. manager or it project managers actually come into you know the third phase where you actually work on refining the requirement 
that mm-hmm. among the, the second phase i can see business analyst is mentioned so yes mm-hmm. i mean definitely business analyst also i mean not just in the second place also sometimes they help in ninth place, uh, uh, place as well where they actually because these people are actually working closely with the uh, you mm-hmm. know the leadership team in terms of uh, okay first of all they tell their ideas and then they again come back with the mm-hmm. how is the product performing how is the idea which we implemented performing mm-hmm. for the end mm-hmm. user right mm-hmm. so that mm-hmm. business can actually take the decisions in a better way right so this is the reason why business analyst and data analyst comes uh, into picture understood 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 i've got it so guys i hope you have got a pretty much good clarity that uh, you know how exactly this whole you know it thing works and where all these professions are actually involved basically so you, i i hope that you have got the clarity so one thing i want to say there's not a uh, <clears throat> you know sorry there is not any particular one profession which is hyping no if it is booming for sure along with that all these professions are also booming so yes every single profession which is mentioned which is the business analyst it project manager front end developer back end developer qa engineer data analyst all of them will definitely is a hyping for sure so now the main question comes in our mind that what exactly uh, i am made for so i have made some you know Uh, definition so i hope while uh, navneet was explaining that yes it project managers is responsible for planning and initiating and executing the complex it projects and back end developers uh, like you know navneet could you just uh, highlight us that what is the exact difference between the front end and back end yes, probably sure. i'm a mechanical engineer i'm not a good in that <laughs> sure okay so um, i mean just to take a very basic example Mm-hmm. to explain what is front end back end developers mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. front end developers uh, i mean imagine a website i mean everyone is using a website right mm-hmm. so whatever you see and feel and interact with that mm-hmm. is front end right mm-hmm. for example if you're watching this webinar you might be watching it in your browser itself so this is mm-hmm. a front end and mm-hmm. talking about the back end which you are not able to see mm-hmm. back end is something which is not actually visible to the end users okay mm-hmm. and back end in general could be you can say very basic level whatever logics you write mm-hmm. whatever functionalities you are working on internally right so mm-hmm. that is something actually empowers your front end okay mm-hmm. that is back end where you know you work on lot of uh, uh, internal things and you you can say that okay i need to create a user in the database i can mm-hmm. i need to create the promo code let's say right mm-hmm. and then as a user you need to apply that promo code and when you click on apply button that's uh-huh. where backend comes into picture where um, we need to verify whether this promo code is right or wrong and then we tell front end that this is not the correct promo code throw an error so that's where front end throws an error so that is where backend and front end actually collectively you can say work okay 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 so if we will learn both the skills then we can become a full stack developer definitely you can be- become a full stack developer Okay. Okay. And what about this whole uh, mobile developers and this mobile uh, mobile developer also is kind of similar. Mm. Okay. So mobile developer is also a, um, similar to front end, you can say, but that's be- be majorly focused on the mobile apps. Okay. okay. So front end is involved in that, mm-hmm. but that's more of focused into the uh, mobile application. Apart from that, back end still comes into picture in the mobile app as well. Okay. So that is same. then comes the qa engineer as i mentioned i mean a qa's responsibility is to actually verify things mm-hmm. figure out the bugs and report it to the dev team again and then co- uh, developers actually fix those bugs and then mm-hmm. qa again verifies it and then gives the sign off you can say that this is verified completely and now you can go ahead and you know make it live so that's mm-hmm. where qa engineers come into picture and then data analyst or data scientist again i said they work on the data which we get from the users right as i told and then they try to you know analyze the trends mm-hmm. you can say whether whatever ideas we came up with as a product mm-hmm. is it working or not that's mm-hmm. where data analysis and scientists come into picture they Understood. tell you whether this actually performed well or not Understood. Okay. Understood. and then they will be able to help you with the data and then mm-hmm. again you can make your own decisions based on that data so exactly. that is where data analysts come into picture understood understood thank you thank you so much navneet for this detailed explanation it was very really much easy to understand but yes guys to all the people who are thinking that now how i can learn all this so all these professions are available as i told you that in this particular program 
all six professions are there now it's up to you you are trying all of them and then thinking that which one will work for you so in this particular course it profession from scratch to employment you're going to get this all six profession you will try in first six week now you will understand that this is my cup of tea or not if yes then go ahead for another eight months and get a guaranteed job as simple as that now let's come to the most important part how much money we can make by the way i have made uh, some different vertical horizontal a lot of things maybe it is not making sense but still um so there's some approximate package i have kept uh, i have taken you know the modest one the rarest case so you can correct me that what packages i have written uh, and let's suppose if i have just starting as a junior front end developer uh, you know how much package it, uh, i can get now at the current time and how much i can get after 3 years or 4 years can you just correct me sure uh, so i think um, <clears throat> you have mentioned 3 3 4 8 okay so mm-hmm. i think the three is like uh, the package which uh, any service based company is offering that too they have increased mm-hmm. they have uh, increased to 4 4.5 or something i'm not mm-hmm. totally sure but yeah i mean these are the packages which are given to mostly service based companies i mean mm-hmm. service based companies uh, i hope everybody might be aware if not then i think once they get into you know touch with your counselors yeah. they might be able to explain them but in general i think um, in any of the you know industrial you know you can say realistic product based companies uh, they are somewhere offering i mean very base i will say very very bare minimum amount of uh, mm-hmm. package is somewhere around 6 7 that's mm-hmm. the minimum i'm saying for mm-hmm. the junior front end engineer mm-hmm. if you go at the higher level um, companies are even offering 16 to uh, 30 lpa which is mm-hmm. for which is i'm talking about and you might be mentioned you have mentioned somewhere around uh, i didn't see that but yeah i mean somewhere around senior or uh, team lead level but that's something which is offered to the freshers <laughs> okay so uh, okay. it depends on the skill set as i mentioned earlier <clears throat> so it varies it varies for different uh, level different skill set candidates but still bare minimum is 6 or 7 you can say minimum okay. and then as you grow that exponential growth i mean see you have written vertical and horizontal i call that vertical growth as a exponential growth where your packages might go beyond uh, 30 40 50 at the senior level as well i mean so you don't need to even reach to cto level you still can earn same amount of package in a uh, senior level itself and if you go at the cto then that's like maybe beyond crores as well so that you can't really talk about that depends on the company as well understood understood so one thing is, sim- is simple that if i will join i can definitely join with 8 or 10 lakh of package right it is possible right if i will definitely be very serious yeah. and after that i can definitely switch and keep on increasing my salary packages and everything i've got the idea so yes guys just to tell you to all the people who want to join our job guarantee batch so yes whoever is watching me you can avail 33% of discount by mentioning that yes you have watched the webinar upcoding invaders with navneet and amir and yes for sure you can avail this benefit for sure and you can get it enrolled but for that you need to clear all your doubts and for that we are giving you a free counseling call the link is in the chat section go and uh, get a free counseling call ask anything whatever you want and then see that yes i should try or not because see here we are solving the problems like in choosing the right it profession and uh, you will try all six profession if you will like it then only go ahead if you don't like it don't go ahead so any which ways we are saving your time and money all right so moving on now the most important question comes in our mind that how did you choose your career path how like why you were so clear that i i can become that how did, uh, did you you know uh, realize that how a person who is non it background like you can see a lot of comments are saying that is this tech for me or not or like people are confused so how i can understand that this is uh, you know uh the profession i should go for what should, okay. what sort of quality i should look into myself okay so uh i think um one thing that we need to understand uh before choosing any profession is what are you good at okay and uh what works for you mm-hmm. okay you shouldn't be i mean obviously you you obviously everybody wants good amount of money right everybody works for money but ultimately if let's say you are not enjoying uh, that profession um, then it will be very difficult for you to survive okay so that's the first and foremost thing and then apart from that i mean uh, 
if i talk about how uh, you know i approached towards choosing uh, my profession it was basically i in my college time i used to you know experiment on different things okay so i used to work on i have worked on front end i have worked on back end i mm-hmm. also tried a uh, uh, mobile application as well i was pretty much clear in my head that i don't want to go into the data analyst side because i was not good in writing queries so mm-hmm. that uh, bare, bare minimum thing i would tell that moment of time but now i mean things are different but initially it was like that so i and i was also not so good in networking that that's another subject so i was pretty much clear in my head that okay i my i am definitely going into this you know this development side only and then came you know what to choose there were three options for me i mean so that's where i tried back end front end and then also application side so i worked on all th- these three and in my job also i have contributed into all these three so but currently uh, i say that because of you know my contribution into all these three i am a, actually a full stack developer okay? okay but in general what i you know actually enjoyed working was mobile mm-hmm. okay working on the mobile side and the back end okay? okay and that was the you know uh, thing that i realized and that's but still i mean it, it doesn't mean that i can't work on the front end i am still able to work but it is just that as i mentioned what you enjoy the most industry so i enjoy mobile development and mm-hmm. the back end right so mm-hmm. i am working on those okay so you need to clarify your own thoughts mm-hmm. for actually going into any of these Understood. and then you need to experiment it out and then Understood. you should be easily able to decide what fits best for you and this one guy with the name aman sheik is saying that is four lpa is good for fresher any comments see i would suggest uh, see i mean for me specifically i would uh, say no that's my personal opinion mm. it might be a hurtful might maybe to, to someone but it's like i set those standards for myself so mm. you need to set your own standards okay so it doesn't mean that is bad for you okay mm. if things are working for you in 4 lakhs initial days see because there are a lot of responsibilities you need to take care of so there are other factors that come in right mm. so you need to also consider those before choosing mm-hmm. anything right if you mm-hmm. say that okay i don't have a job but i have a lot of responsibilities four lakh is good enough get started with that later mm-hmm. on you can work on your skill set and you know and jump into any other companies as well but if you say that okay uh, uh, no four lakh is not good enough and also you have a lot of responsibilities at your mm-hmm. home let's say mm-hmm. right so that is a wrong decision i would suggest so look into your responsibilities and then decide whether it is good or bad for you but i would say that try to set your standards high and work mm-hmm. for it you will mm-hmm. definitely be able to achieve it okay that's the bare minimum thing i will say understood thank you thank you so much for this answer just one guy is continuously asking that is this can you tell me how if this take is for me or not so let's see i have made this proper slide for you guys okay so you must be having a lot of qualities you must be having a uh, creative uh, approach you must be having uh, analysis mind a lot more things so i have prepared this slide if you can see so you can see the qualities in you and i would request all of you just to mention your qualities in the chat section that are you good with creativity communication growth mindset if yes then you are a front end or you can become a good front end developer if you are a person who is good at research attention you know attention to details communication and problem solving then you can become a good data analyst so guys i would request you all just make an exercise and let's see that which profession suits you best looking at the qualities i would request you all just comment down and let's see that which guy is made for which profession that's a small exercise where you will get a hint an idea an approximate idea that okay you can try this particular profession i have this skill set i have this leadership quality i have this particular uh, you know uh, research quality i have this particular problem solving quality so you can just mention so naman pathak is saying that uh, you know he can become a good front end developer and uh, there's one guy is saying that he can become a good qa engineer and there's one guy is saying that he can become a project management uh, that's great that's great so guys you also can comment down looking at your own current qualities that where you are good at and which profession suits you so there's one guy from ashwini ashwini is saying that good communication public dealing all seems right for me somebody is saying okay okay front end developer data science fields i have all great great people uh how to know if uh, okay dinesh i have answered your question man you can see this a slide see your quality and then you'll get an answer that which profession is best 
okay data analytics and data science how to know if tech is for me or not again this guy <laughs> okay it's like uh, you know he's giving me that um, you know what we say recall of binod you know <laughs> this <laughs> <laughs> okay uh front end developer data analyst that's great so guys uh, uh, so uh, we did this particular exercise i'm very very much happy that you guys have got pretty much clarity but now we are now moving towards the you know q and a session so guys now you guys were asking a lot more question keep your questions ready because i am going to take the question and then we will interact with the q or you know the guest speaker i'll ask him all the silly <laughs> we know this uh, laughing so i'll ask the serious question uh, or the you know the toughest question to navneet we will get our answer clear and a lot of things we will uh, discuss over here so keep your questions ready i am just taking the questions okay and after q and a session guys i am going to announce the winner okay so stay here stay here maybe you can be the one who can win this all right <clears throat> so um there's one question from krishna what about ai is uh, ai is booming now and it makes less jobs in it can you explain <laughs> first of so, all like navneet i wanted to say that i think ai will increase the job opportunity i feel exactly uh, so uh, that's what i was about to say because see uh, who are able to build uh, ai right who is building it mm-hmm. engineers only right Mm. so that is still an opportunity for you know ai ml uh, engineers mm. right and then talking about uh, people talking about replacing the job mm. see this is still uh, not happening in near future where you know jobs of an it engineers are gone and only mm. ai is building the whole development uh, thing because there is still a lot of you know things that comes you know in place just which ai can't do actually right mm-hmm. so still there are a lot of things which ai needs to figure out mm-hmm. right and then uh, meanwhile uh, engineers will figure out something else for them so and i i feel that if ai is coming then people need uh, uh, you know the engineers uh, will be required to maintain that ai exactly there will That's be a lot more things exactly so ultimately see this is for people might be thinking because a lot of people are talking about that ai is future obviously mm-hmm. definitely ai is future but it doesn't mean that uh, ai is uh, going you know uh, you can say to reduce the it jobs mm. so it doesn't mean that we might uh, we might observe one thing that people are updating themselves and now coming to ai exactly can, yeah okay um so there's one guy is asking that name is karan is bca good choice or B- bsc science he cannot answer that <laughs> any graduation is required if you want to become an it professional you can definitely so question from uh, shivam uh, is there that again uh, the same question okay let, let let's discuss with you it's too much now uh, shivam how to know if tech is for me or not i am weak in maths that's fine i mean you're ready to get into tech there i, I told about product manager right Mm-hmm. i told about um, this thing um, uh, qa engineers i mean so you don't need a lot of coding in qa mm-hmm. you can still start with manual testing mm-hmm. and gradually you can increase your you know skill sets and jump into automation testing as well in qa also there are a lot of things manual mm-hmm. automatic right mm-hmm. so both of the things are there you can get started with manual so the example that i told you right that the person was not from the computer science or something mm-hmm. uh, he started with manual testing mm mm-hmm. and then he slowly learned and mm-hmm. then he jumped into you know automatic uh, automation basically in in testing itself so there are a lot of other opportunities as well so you just need to figure out apart from technical what else fits right mm-hmm. understood understood thank you thank you so much there's one question from manish avasti please tell about arts student can they also start so arts i think uh, if you are an art student uh, maybe i am assuming that you might be good in creativity mm-hmm. so if you are good then you might try ua ux mm-hmm. ua ux was there right in place where design was mentioned mm-hmm. so that is that might fit in uh, for you you can try actually okay now the most toughest question <laughs> i think it is 
question from mohan how to develop our interest in coding and all the it sector now to me how to develop that interest okay one is uh, what i took i mean see uh, one is that okay think i was kind of enjoying it mm. but uh, see what is the basic requirement okay <laughs> basic requirement is that you want to earn money exactly and that should be your motivation that if yeah. you have the good amount of skill set yeah then you are gonna on you know bunch of money as well so that yeah. should be your motivation so yeah. ultimately if you are motivated enough you might be able to get your, you know interest into this exactly. but number one thing mm. this is just for you know fun fact but this is also true because mm. uh, if you are actually you know uh, gonna choose i mean see let's say everyone wants to get into it because of money only i know mostly mm-hmm. right because of jobs and uh, the the packages which fascinate people a lot so if that is fascinating you then you should try to work hard and you know mm-hmm. improve your skill sets that's it mm-hmm. and then it should be an easier task for you that that's it if you you should first of all start with very basic things try to mm-hmm. see whether it act, actually it is making sense to you or not if you're not still able to de- uh, create an interest in that then mm-hmm. don't do that <laughs> then don't mm-hmm. do that. then try to do other things Okay, then okay. don't do coding. I would suggest. Otherwise, you you know gonna bang your head on the table or laptop itself. So exactly. don't do that. Try to figure out, experiment, and then decide whether you want to actually go into coding or maybe the other thing which were mentioned. Exactly, exactly. Thank you. The last but not least, the question from uh, I won't take the name because the question is very painful. So the question is: I completed diploma in mechanical engineering. but there was two years of backlog in the engineering and one year backlog after completing any particular it related course when i will go to face the interview any interview that gap effect will be the major reason for placement oh, sorry i got confused so he is having some backlogs hmm. now he is scared and worried that if i'll go to the placement how i will how this gap will be considered how they will the recruiter will look at the gap how exactly i can cover up and get placed that's what he is asking okay one is uh, before i actually answer is this like the person studying or he is already passed out i guess he is almost done is just uh, now going for the placement drive acha then it's like fine i mean you can tell that okay okay one is like companies um, which might be coming into your college will mostly not prefer Hmm. Okay, so only some companies are there which will say that the one uh, reappear or backlog might be hmm. eligible. So eligibility might be defined by your own college and company. Ah. Okay, that is something where where we can't do anything, right? I mean, you also hmm. can't do anything until and unless you clear your backlogs. Hmm. But hmm. apart from that, outside world, hmm. degree comes later. To hmm. be honest, okay? hmm. they they will first of all check your resume, hmm. what kind of projects you have worked on. Mm-hmm. what are your skill sets and then they will interview you and they'll give you assignments if you are a fresher or an intern position right mm-hmm. so if you are applying for those they will give you an assignment you'll work on that you'll submit it and then you'll you'll come into their interviews right they will mm-hmm. interview you and then they'll get to know mm-hmm. later comes part of you know sending your uh, degree or maybe you know i think there is i think what was that i mean cgpa mark sheet which mm-hmm. you get initially right yeah. so that that you need to submit later mm-hmm. so that is still the part which comes after interview mostly understood okay. so in companies where you are applying from outside they there you can still give your interviews okay but okay. inside you might be not eligible itself sometimes understood it depends understood. on the companies okay i've got it got it so uh this one last question i just wanted to pick it up sure uh there's one guy who's having a uh, two years of gap after graduation and there is one another guy who has a uh, two years of gap in work experience now if they will learn this skill set and if they will go for interview so probably in recruiter will ask that why this gap happened now the question comes in our mind that why they will shortlist us and uh, why we, they would consider us and how we can cover it up uh, our gap thing what is the best way okay definitely they will ask they will ask uh, the question you just need to justify it yeah okay sometimes there is a trick 
Mm-hmm. You can use those, right? Where you can say that I was not working as a full time. You were working as a freelancer. Mm-hmm. But you need to show your projects. Mm-hmm. So it is that you need to work on projects mm-hmm. to showcase that. Okay, I might not be working as a full time somewhere, but I was still working on some projects. Okay, mm-hmm. so you just need to fill that gap. Mm-hmm. Okay. in different ways this is one approach i told right mm-hmm. you can you can choose other approaches where you can i mean let's say if it is a genuine case you met with an accident or you were let's say having maybe you you gave a birth to your child or something right so those kind of gaps are still valid people will consider you they will say that okay so sometimes you know these kind of gaps are considered uh, specifically for women but uh, for men it's like you just need to justify it in a different ways so if it is legitimate you the, the gap doesn't really create a huge difference okay so yeah. it is just that you need to fill that void some way or the other understood understood thank you thank you so much navneet i know that you're running out of your time but thank you yeah, so much for all these detailed answers uh, we genuinely enjoyed and we genuinely enjoyed all the people who are interacting and roasting us as well so i hope you have got the uh, your you know question answered and anything uh, before going now anything lastly would you like to say to this beautiful audience so i think um uh, one thing that i would oops so now neet is not in the room now <laughs> so no problem in that no problem in that i guess there is some network issues or something okay no worries in that so i can see the network is disconnect me text him and see that what happened with him uh so i guess there was some network issue so he's facing some problem that's why the whole thing uh, went well thank you for that that we have attended the whole uh, webinar with him and we have got pretty much clar- clarity so i know you guys are laughing but uh, still it's fine it happens it happens so guys uh, i hope you you got all the question answered now there was was one question which i wanted to tell all of you uh one guy was asking me that i am a digital marketing expert now if i want to switch which it profession uh, you know we should choose so the one thing i will uh, say that see digital marketing people uh, check the landing pages how much time it takes to you know the website is coming the ppc he was working okay so you you are observing the landing pages and everything okay and also you are observing the analytics so a digital marketing person can be a good front end developer and a good data analyst as well so this is my recommendation okay perfect now the most uh, important thing which everybody was waiting now see in the beginning too many people were there but only genuine people are watching right now because it always happens whenever you will play a video on youtube the you know the the people who are serious will watch till the end the people who are not serious will just drop in the beginning so now we have those people who are serious right you have given your time so i'm personally very thankful i will make sure that i will announce this and you get some value out of it all right i tried my best to be very honest and you will definitely i have i hope you have got the answers you might have find this particular very valuable but still so to all the people who have joined in between okay so i wanted to tell once again that 40 minutes back i started one contest by saying that whoever will participate in this contest by clicking the link in the chat section that is there if you will participate after 30 40 minutes i'll share my screen and i'll choose a random person and i'll make the winner and that's who will, who will win this particular whole course okay so guys if you was not aware about this particular contest then you can still click in the link okay and then just tell me that yes you are done then i will definitely going to announce the winner all right because i have some few things to say and just after 2 3 minutes i will definitely going to announce the winner all right so guys just come in down if you are already done okay if you are done then definitely we can take this ahead all right so i can see the people are already registering so give me some time let me see so people are still registering so guys hurry up hurry up if you have not registered please register it because now i will just after 5 minutes i'm going to announce the winner so vikrant is saying wait okay i will wait for you shashti is saying done harikesh is done done everybody is almost done 
All right, perfect. I'll just take one minute before I'll just give uh, everybody's a time. So I will be going to definitely, uh, you know, announce the winner for sure. Not a big deal. All right. So I can see how many people have registered. So almost more than two hundred people, I guess, have registered. Just a second. So two hundred people have participated in this contest. So I'm really, very really excited and it's cr crossing the number. So I, I think that people need time. So I'll announce. But before that, I will uh, tell you some more important things. So what I'll do, I'll ask my team to keep posting the link for you in the chat section so that you register. Meanwhile, I'll just give you some important for information. And after just two minutes, I'll announce the winner. So now the most question comes in our mind that how to move into IT. It's very simple. Now understand. Now I'm going to explain about this course. Okay, so whoever have a doubt, understand this. So we have made one course, okay, one course of nine months, nine or nine point five months. What we do in this particular course? In this course, we have taken the first six week separately. What happens in first six week? In first six week, we will teach you all six high paying profession that we discussed with Navneet. All six profession: the QA, front end, back end, data analyst, mobile developer, and uh, there was one more if I'm missing something. So all six high paying profession you will try in first six week. One one profession for one week. You will try all six profession. Once you will try, then you will get an idea that it is working for me or it is not working for me. You will like something. You will not like something. Simple. Then we will assign you one career counselor. They will take an assessment for you and they will also observe your activities. On that basis, they will also recommend that this is your cup of tea. I think data analyst is working for you. I think front is working for you. I think you're liking backend. I think you're liking QA. So just because you have practically done that six week job, now you also know that this one I like most. So once you will get that idea and that comes in a mind, because what happens is to be very honest, whenever we buy any courses, in the first month, we are excited. We buy it. We spend so much of money. But after one month, we realize that, oh, I made a mistake. Now, what here we are doing is we will give you first week. Try all this. Now, after six weeks, whatever you will choose, that is a 100% heads up. Why? Because that six week struggle will give you practical idea that if I am now continuing, I have to continue very seriously. Because now, the let's suppose if you decide after six weeks that six, that data analyst is working for me or front end or back end is working for me, once you will decide that, and then you will choose that profession for another eight months, if you can see the second stage. So you will continue that one profession for another eight months. You will master it. You will complete it very properly with all the projects and everything. And after that, we will help you to get the guaranteed job. I hope everybody has understood the concept behind this particular course. Because there was too many confusion in the market. Too many uh, students were roaming here and there and they were not getting the clarity. So you'll get the clarity now. Okay, so it's very simple. Okay, let's move on. So we, you will, we will help you that what you like and uh, what you are good at and what is in demand. And then you choose that IT profession. So like, let's, let's take an example. of This is the guy. He likes something and we will understand where he is good at. Okay. And then what is the demand in the market? Accordingly, we will make a combination. We'll choose a correct profession for me because it's not always buying course. It's always understanding that which profession is working for you. And that's how you will win the game. All right. So I have explained all these things, you know, assessment and everything is there or for sure. So you will be mastering it and you will be getting it hired. That's not a big deal. Okay. Now the best part over here is you will not only learn all these particular tools, guys. You'll not only learn like theoretical or something. No, it is 100%. You can say, or you can say that more than 80% of the whole curriculum is project based. Why project based? Because when you are at the end, why you are doing this course? At the end, you are doing this course to get a job. And to get a job, you need to sound very practical and logical and experienced. Now, too many people uh, who is just watching me right now, there must be a question that I am a fresher or I'm a non-IT background or I'm having a gap or I'm from a commerce background or I'm from an arts background. Why they will hire us? Are it definitely they can hire you if you have particular skill set, if you have done that certification, if in your CV you can showcase your project and tell them that, yes, I have done this project from Microsoft. I've done this project from Amazon. I've done this. So you are proving yourself equivalent to an experienced person, right? You need something to show them that I am equivalent uh, to the experienced person. How? By doing the project, by doing the internship. So that's what we do in this particular course. You all will be getting one month of internship during the course itself, in the course itself. And after that, you'll be getting a place for sure. So your CV is very strong. 
nobody going to fire you for sure nobody going to reject you you definitely will get shortlisted because the things have been planned very strategically that you will be able to do it trust me guys okay because we are into this market we have been observing that what exactly is happening and what skills and things are required and that's how we are helping people to get the job done all right so you have to think very very uh self free and like you know you don't have to worry so much you have to take the decision try all six profession choose one go ahead and trust us and focus on the mock interviews and the practices in the career development and get the job okay okay perfect so if i have just shared you the screenshot of the mentors so these are the mentors if you can see the best part about the coding invaders is you will get one on one unlimited video calls with the mentors so let's suppose if you're a student if you're a working professional let's suppose if you're missing the live classes you will get the recorded one as well if you are missing any classes if you're any missing any important webinar you can just have a video call with the guest speaker or you can say the mentors and talk to them and understand that uh, you know uh, what i missed basically and what exactly was uh, there in the particular class so you can have this question cleared so the best part what i am trying to convey over here and what i am trying to convince or what i am trying to portray or image is if you are serious if you want resources are available you can do it if you are a working professional no excuse you can still do it in the late night if you are a student you can still do it in the late evening so options are there resources are there live things are happening recorded things are also there one on one video calls are there chat option is also there it's you who have to give one and five hours on daily basis simple as that trust me 1.5 hours daily basis is required at least and trust me in india on an average people are scrolling instagram for more than 2 hours and that is one of the most unproductive things i would request all of you that you know it's a matter of 8 9 months be serious take action let's do it okay so how we promise the job guarantee so ha uh, huh, the, the most important question how we promise this job guarantee and how is it possible aise kaise keh sakte ho ki job guarantee hai itna aasan thodi na hota hai for sure it is not easy agree with you but one thing you agree that what navneet told that the the demand is so much but skilled people is not there in the market he himself says that whenever i go for hiring i never get a skilled people we get a challenge companies are hiring expensive hr to find out good it professionals but they are not there in the market because 80% of people what which i have observed in the whole uh, my journey uh, because i have had more than 200 plus people in do it jobs so i have think observe one thing people already have a lot of myths and pre assumptions in their mind that okay coding to aata nahi how i can do it i know i don't know see of the coding iske liye background chahiye wo already they have a lot of things in their mind and they deny it but the fact is no irrespective of what background you have or whatever it is if you know certain skill set you can get the job as simple as that right if you know excel sheet you can still become an accountant as just giving you an example but doesn't mean that you have not done graduation you can still become that so if you know these tools and skills you can definitely get a job trust me the demand is very much and how we uh, promise because we have already 300 plus hiring partners okay so once we have a hiring partners then we know the what exactly their requirement is now we have understood their requirement so looking at their requirement we have designed the course now we only teach that thing which is required for the companies you will learn only those thing which is required we will not give you 10 15 tools or the skills that you have to study and you get scared whenever you will google on internet you will find 10 15 tools which scares and demotivates people so we will only give you those tool which is required go study and get a job rest you are experienced enough you are smart enough you will continue it by yourself all right so just here, here's an example if you'll start with 5 7 lakh package after one two years you'll get 10 10 15 lakh package after that 15 35 and that's how i'm not kidding at all it is a very practical figure i'm putting it in front of you all right oh god now i have to announce the winner i am sure nobody's bored <laughs> okay so i am going to announce now uh, so without wasting any more time i'm coming to the main part okay so guys if you have uh, so one question is from uh, ashwini that sir i know about my personality very well but i think i am misguided it's up to you <laughs> that's interesting one okay so no worries in that 
so i hope uh, to all the people who is watching me if you have got a clarity i'm very very much happy that you got some value from this particular webinar but now it's the time to announce the winner without wasting any more time okay so all the people who have joined lately i am again saying that the link is in the chat section after one minute i am going to announce the winner because i have to check the list how many people have participated if you haven't participated the link is in the chat section just after one minute i'm going to announce the winner go click fill it up because I'll, i'm going to share my screen i'll choose one random person and i will enroll him for our job guarantee batch and the course which starts with it profession from scratch to an employment all right uh, i am in a different country can you help me in the journey for sure aap kisi bhi desh mein ho hum help kar sakte hain okay i'll just uh, refresh my sheet i'll see how many people have participated all right perfect perfect kartik is saying done give me thumbs up guys give me thumbs up i'm going to announce the winner now give me thumbs up guys if you're done just tell me by the way you guys roast very well i i enjoy whenever somebody roast in the comment I, because when when i was also i was doing the same thing typing the shitty thing on the chat section <laughs> okay no worries in that so i can see almost 218 people have participated anybody else who is left should i announce now are you guys ready to see who is the winner are you guys ready so i can see a lot of thumbs up yash gor i am from pharma background can i come to it ab kaise bolu main yes you can come to an it everybody can come to an it neha ashushti ashnusha everybody is ready sort of saying two good session thank you so much man it motivates me trust me your positive words you don't know whatever the positive comment you guys are putting you don't know how much motivation you are adding to me in my life and you don't know you with your positive comments you are making somebody's career so i'm very much thankful that you like this particular session mamta is saying bata bhi do ab theek hai okay 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 i'll just announce now yeah still people are suggesting okay okay good session is helpful <laughs> that, that nice comment my uh, mayur from marathe abe bata de jaldi panvel nikalna hai <laughs> okay i'll just announce now okay interesting um jaldi karo subah panvel nikalna hai <laughs> tum log instagram pe bahut time invest kar rahe ho ye to samajh mein aa gaya pad lo thoda sa zindagi mein kuch kar lo okay okay now coming to this particular uh, sheet i'll show you I'll, i hope everybody can see uh, my screen so these are the number of people who have participated guys so this is the data i have i can see the numbers are included so i have intentionally you know hide the number so that you guys won't take any screenshot because i know what exactly runs in your mind guys kyunki kabhi main bhi tum log ki jagah tha so i know the psychology behind what comes when we see the data <laughs> okay so we have 222 people registered so i use this website guys okay what is this exactly so this website i will put the number and he that uh, so i can see 222 so i'll put the number over here 222 okay and he will it will choose one number out of it okay anybody else who is missing i'll refresh my sheet once again okay perfect so i'm locking at 222 i'll just check once again and now i'm going to announce the winner all right 10987654321 let's go number 181 is the winner of this particular contest for it profession from scratch to employment and you will be getting enrolled for a job guarantee batch so let's see who is that 181 all right 181 181 is subra what is it subramanyam ayappan subramanan subraman kya kaise bolu yaar subramanyam ayappan so if i am announcing very correctly so subramanyam you are the winner of this particular contest from a coding invaders the course name is it profession from scratch to an employment and you won this particular contest within one hour or half an hour you are going to get a call from a academy counselor and they will be giving you a counseling call and making you understand and you will be getting enrolled for a job guarantee batch right today itself if you will miss the call you will get a call tomorrow once again if you are here 
shout out loud that you uh, uh won this particular uh, you know course uh, we are very very happy and to all the people who have not won yet i have something to tell you okay so i'll just upload my slides and i'll tell you that what is still all the people who have not won it what is still they can get so i hope you guys are very happy with this announcement and uh, subramanyam is also very much be happy so congratulate him guys and uh, there's one guy saying that ye beimani hai kyon bhai <laughs> kyon beimani hai Sheikh Azhar is saying thanks, Amir Bhai, for your valuable time. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. But still, I have something for all of you, to all the people who have not won yet. So I'll just upload my slides and uh, uh, there's one guy is commenting. You are looking like Richa Chadha's husband. I don't know who is Richa Chadha. I'll just Google it. <laughs> that was one of the terrible comment. Okay. the ankita ram chandani singh that i was at 182 don't worry don't worry so i'm just uploading my slides and i'll just uh, tell you that what is still i have for all of you who have not won this particular contest all right i'll ask my team to upload and then i can discuss uh, so somebody is saying that winner is not in the webinar you should announce another name rule is rule if he he got definitely he'll get a call simple as that So to all the people who still want the free counseling call, the link is in the chat section. But still, I have something to share with you. Please, somebody from my team can upload the slide. Please, I'm waiting to tell. I have just two most important thing wanted to tell you. I don't know if it is there or not. All right. So yes. So everybody have got this particular thing contest result perfect so we do also have a referral program guys if uh, you know this is the actual pricing and structure so the normal pricing is 11490 we have not won yet so you can get a 35% discount because you have given your time so you can tell that yes i was this webinar with amar and navneet and you can get this benefit acha fukra hero okay got it perfect so thank you so much guys and uh, i hope you have enjoyed this particular session and uh, i hope uh, you enjoyed all the you know uh, discussion and the joke that we had with navneet so thank you all and um, i was talking about the referrals so if you will refer to any of your friend your friend will also get 5000 discount and you will also get 5000 discount if you will refer to 10 people your all 10 people will get 5 5000 discount each and you also will be getting a loan 50000 discount so the more you will refer the cost of the course becomes zero so the more you will share the more you will be better for you okay so i am attaching my link in the chat section about my linkedin link to all the people who want to talk and make joke so you can definitely dm me and i genuinely enjoyed uh, with you all the roasting and everything jisko jo panvel nikalna hai jaye okay Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this particular session. See you on the next webinar. Meanwhile, good night.